Eight hours of a fateful day, officers were dispatched to a scene of a fight in a neighborhood involving three adult males. On getting to the scene, the officers found only two males left there and attempted to end the fight. One of the males cooperated, but the other decided to enter his car and drive off, but things escalated quickly. Uh, we're en route to a fight. You know from now, man. You can't, you can't relax. Fight. You relax. I am relaxed. Back up. up. He almost ran over my partner. OK. Why were you involved? That's my brother. That's your brother? Yes, he is. Yeah, take it. Put your back. Relax. We're going to okay. figure out what happened. The officers met with the other neighbors and eyewitnesses to ask about what happened. This ain't my first rodeo, we know that. The suspect was eventually arrested for driving under the influence and assault on a peace officer. And while this male tried to run over an officer, this next male totally lost it over somebody else's business. Get the out of my neighborhood. You're not welcome. This is not your neighborhood. <laughs> you live in this neighborhood. <laughs> on the 8th of September, 2022, Officers responded to a disturbance call from a tow truck driver who wouldn't be allowed to do his job because of an oddly concerned neighbor who lives three houses away. Apparently, the driver was trying to tow a repossessed car, but this neighbor, identified as Brett, wouldn't allow the driver because he thought the car was being stolen. Officers arrive at the scene and try to explain that the vehicle has been cleared for towing, but none of these would mean anything to Brett as he wouldn't back down even after so many warnings. Just for that. Hi. Hello. Um, I live right uh, two doors down. This guy is trying to steal my neighbor's car. He's not he stealing have... it. He's a repo person. Well. And if it's not even your car, what are you messing with it for? Because it's my neighbor. Don't you have family within your community? He's a repo man. Well, whatever. I don't care. He's... What do you mean you don't care? This isn't even your car. How do I know he's a repo man with proper... What does he have? Form? Does he have to identify himself to you? No. I don't care. If you're stealing from my neighbor, yes. I'm going to wait for the neighbor to come out and say, let him take it. He's not stealing. He's repossessing a it, car. Is your body camera on? Yes. Okay, good. If he's stealing a car from my neighbor... He's repossessing a car. I have a legitimate reason to pause him just long enough to validate that it's a legal repossession and allow my neighbor to come out and object or allow an officer of the law to come out and certify that this is a legal repossession. Please, please check his paperwork and make sure that the VIN numbers match and then we'll all be okay. What company are you with? Okay. So the neighbor already came out? When I go to pull away, this man came out of nowhere. Okay. Oh, I mean, I, I believe you. I mean, I've seen this a million times. So, I mean... It's easier to repossess a car this time of night than during the day when they're going to be awake. And meet everybody. And not from everybody's door. There's no secret. I'm going to call him down to the car in the front bumper trying to get her out because he's up in front of my car. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he called me. Back up. Back up. Back up. A lot of Back up. Okay. All I'm asking you. I'm talking to him right now. I am talking to him right now. Okay. You stay right there. Yes, I'm right here. It's not your business. It is not your business. It is. He's already spoke with the car owner. Why is it the car owner? All of their stuff is already out of the car. It's not your business, sir. That's all I'm asking. I literally just saw his paperwork that he has. It's the same car. Get on. Get away from my car. Get in your, Is this your house? I live here. That's my point. I'm talking to him. I live here. Yes, you can talk to him, but validate the VIN number matches. I already. He talked to the. He talked to the vehicle owner. As long as you validate the VIN number, I won't care. It's not your business. I'm the next door neighbor. That, this you want to go knock on their door? Validate the VIN. Do you want to go knock on their validate door? The Do you want to go knock validate on their door? The 
Listen to me. I'm about to put you in cuffs. Wait, sir. Touch my car again. I'm about to put your ass in cuffs. Do you hear me? I didn't touch your car. Do you hear me? I didn't I touch told you to back up. You don't want to listen to me. He has a job to do. He's done his job. It's not your Validate business. the VIN number. He already talked to the person that owns the car. Just it's not your Go inside. Number. Go inside now before yeah, you go to jail. No, it's not. Ba no, it's my next door neighbor. I love okay. him. And even when the actual owner of the car came out and explained she knew about the repossession, Brett still wasn't ready to stop. Is this your vehicle? It's her car. Look at me. Okay. You're about to go to jail right now. You're about to go to jail right now. It's her car. Why are you shining flashlight in my eyes? It's her car. Stop that. You don't need to... You can point it at my shoes, don't point it at my camera. Go back in your house. By the way, the Supreme Court just validated the authority of the Yeah, camera. 10 feet away. Oh, go I'm back sorry. in your house. Last warning before go. you go to jail. Last warning before you go to jail. Go Last. back in your I house. I am 20 feet away. I am 25 feet away. How many feet away do you want me to be? She literally oh, just came outside and validated that's her car. You're oh yeah, he's in the middle of the road yelling in a neighborhood. This Go is in a cul-de-sac in the neighborhood. Get in your house right now before we take you to jail. Right now. Go. Validate that VIN number. I'm posting this on social The car owner just came outside. I am posting this on I hope you do. Don't steal that car. It's her car. Don't She's right that. there. Did you validate the VIN number? It's not your business. Get in your house before you go to jail. It's a VIN number. It's not your business. It's not your business. Exactly. She's right there. The car owner is right there. Rubbing evidence by shining flashlights on me. You want to see my middle finger? There it is. Put that on your body camera. That's that's a real adult move right there. He's, he's single too. In an effort to prevent me from recording evidence of a public service hey, happening. I'm also recording. You it. are trying to go in me. your house. This is my property. This is my house. Okay. This is my land. Right here. My land. <laughs> I want to take him. I want to down on the alcohol. I want to take him so bad. Brett eventually went back to his house, and one would think that was all. However, he wasn't close to being done yet, as he kept speaking from his kitchen window. This man must really have a jail wish. At this point, he'd wake up some neighbors. Qualified. Well, yeah, he he's protective over y'all. I can tell you that. He about went to jail. I can tell you that right now. One more middle finger, and I was done. Is everybody on here has been on this, on this road? Everybody. That's from his bathroom. No, that's the kitchen. That's his kitchen? Yeah, his kitchen. Yeah, that's his kitchen. Oh, that's my aunt house. So his name is John? Listen, he just came out here screaming at me and screaming at the repo guy. Definitely got Because we didn't run the VIN on the car and you even stealing y'all's car and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, he wasn't. I, he, I wish we would have known that he didn't live at that one. He lived at that one because I would have taken it. I hear cussing, flicking us off. Yeah, he went crazy. You didn't hear him validating it. <laughs> I'm waiting for him to come back out. The right here. Are you sure? I don't know. You're just yelling from his window. I mean, he's he's really disturbed. He's pacing from the from the bed, man. He's he's really mad that this car is getting repoed, y'all. He's he's really really mad. Yeah, I might need to go check on him because he needs to be out the door. He at here. Oh. Yeah. All right, right, well, as long as y'all are okay, yeah, we we're going to make sure he stays in his house for the night or else he's hey, going to go if somewhere else. Stop bothering y'all. Just call us again. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was kind of weird. <laughs> well, the thing is that I thought he lived here. If I had known that he didn't live here, I would put him in cuffs already. No, he lives at that one.
So he he got he got away this. If he time. comes back over and like tries to come to your house, even like knocks on your door, call he us. Yeah. He chose tonight to come out. That's why I'm it's not even a full moon yet. <laughs> Uh -uh. Yeah, yeah girls, go get, you, go get his son. Oh, I'm, I'm terrified of him because he's weird. Oh, I'm not getting understand why. Yeah, like I said, like we said, if like, he comes over and starts knocking on your door or does anything like that. He's like, oh, he have flowers and stuff. We don't, yeah, we don't, we don't. Are you sure keeping an eye on y'all with the sun? All those windows, it's a little shady. Go right to right there. No. No. Oh, man. Uh, no. <laughs> All right. As long as everybody's good, we're good too. All right. Y'all have a good night. Like I said, like he said, if he comes back, come knock on your door, does whatever. Come and call us and I'll hook him up because okay. he flicked me off one too many times tonight and I'm not dealing with it again. Okay. And of course, he did come back out. Okay, I'll back my car up so you can at least get out of here. It's not your business. Get back in your house. Okay. If you can see, if you can see, you climb the tree. Climb the tree. Climb the tree. It's my tree. Do it. Climb the tree. He's right there. Look. Talk about climbing a tree. I don't know. You're welcome. Have a good night. No, you're fine. Oh my god! This is not your neighborhood. <laughs> you live in this <laughs> neighborhood. <laughs> Stop it! over here. You're being crazy, John. No, then you're just one of your neighbors disturbing the peace. I'm on my own property. Do you know this man across the street? Yes, sir. Do you know his name? Fred? Okay. Yes, I do, and you're violating it. Everything's okay. We're just trying to get him inside so he stops bothering everybody. Your, your neighbor over here. You literally cannot make this up. No. No. And I can't wait to, to watch this video all over again. What, what stupid stuff are you going to do? I mean, I don't want to take the light off of him in case he's got something on him. Shine the light in my eyes and blind me and assault me with the photons. With the, with the photons? <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Yes, you can be charged with assault for shining light in people's eyes. I want to see that statue. Um, have you ever seen a green laser go into an airplane and cause a crash? This isn't uh, green. Yes. Is this green? The FAA and all of the NHTSAs have already ruled on this. Fred! Fred, this light's not green. It doesn't matter if it's green. It's too many photons for the eyes to... Oh, okay. I'm okay. My phone. That's how great your photons are. Okay, Fred. Well, for my safety and your safety, I'm not turning my flashlight. Out of my neighborhood. That's all I'm asking. You've already... I'm not leaving until he goes back inside. The police got tired of the whole thing, and Brett was eventually arrested. I'm backing up, and I'm recording 
Go in your house and quit bothering the your neighbor. out of my neighborhood. You already repossessed the car. <laughs> now you're just coming after me. I'm recording every second. Go back in your house and quit you yelling. You're assaulting me with your flashlight. <laughs> Fred, I hope you remember this in the morning when you sober up. You are threatening me with your behavior. Go back in your house. Go back in your house. Get out of my house. So you're the king of the neighborhood? Fred, you're going to regret this when you sober up in the morning. If you're not here to fuck with me, then leave. The hangover is going to be bad, man. Then leave, leave, leave. Just fucking leave. Um, yeah, I think it's he needs to go. It's that simple. Leave. Get in your car, drive away, and we can all be happy citizens again. All right. You want to assault me? Let's go. Uh, I'm here. Do you want me to get on my knees? Do you want me to do this? Yeah, I do. I think that would be a great idea. Get on your knees. Get on your knees. Don't get back in that house. Get on your knees. Put, Put the your hands behind your bed. 10-4, Whiskey Mike, 10 Whiskey Mike, 10 You don't want to. We, we gave you lots of opportunities. And I did. And what did you do? What did I do? Stood I in the middle of the street and yelled. <laughs> that is not a street. It's not a street. Okay. Um, that's my phone, and it is still okay. recording. Okay. Okay. It is still recording. Is that way from me? Yes. Okay, Guess what, Fred? You get to stay at the. Can you put my phone in my pocket? No. I'm hold it for right now, okay? Is your door locked? No, it's not. 13 is there anyone else Columbia, 1065 of Florida 28. November Whiskey Sierra Charlie 63. If you can send that RO to 1303's MCT, please. Are you, are you 1302? Um, yeah, what he pulls out. So I just got the car key. Oh, that's the dongle. Yeah, you need to get the actual keys. Oh, he dropped some coins, but that's okay. That's okay? It, well, that's a quarter. Put it in my pocket. That's yeah, expensive. Okay. okay. What are you on? Have you just been drinking or like something? Smells like alcohol. smell it. This is my house. I, I know. It doesn't well, matter. It doesn't okay. matter until you're out in the street yelling at people. And because you were stealing from my neighbors. I didn't steal anything. It well, was, all I asked you to repo. do is check the it depot. It wasn't your business. All and guess I where you're going you now? Hey, you're going to jail. Let's go. Hey, which, right, which, key, is it? which key is it? Um, This one? This one? No, it's... <sighs> I, I can't Can see. Okay. Um, it's the one closest to the bank right now. God <laughs> bless. One? Yeah, that one. <laughs> that, that's the one. Please God lock bless. That. We'll lock it. <laughs> Well, what, what what have you been drinking? What's your drinking choice? It doesn't matter. I'm just trying to make conversation. It doesn't matter. Because no. you probably shouldn't drink it again. Because that's where you're going. I'm on my own you're going property. to jail on a Monday night <laughs> for not minding your own business. Those people don't even know you. It doesn't matter. Okay. Are you sure this is the right key? You arrested me for nothing. Fred, okay. Is that the right key? After the officers got close to the suspect, they discovered he reeked of alcohol. And it all makes sense now. Otherwise, why would somebody be so agitated over a property that is not his? Brett was eventually charged with disorderly conduct and paid a $1,000 fine the next day. But this is definitely child's play compared to this next neighbor who has been single-handedly terrorizing the whole neighborhood for over a year. Can you peacefully come outside? Why not? Why, why, what for? Because we have a arrest warrant for your arrest. How do you explain a neighbor who has made life unbearable for her neighbors for ages and somehow seems untouchable to the officers? This is, in fact, what people in this neighborhood were going through. This female, identified as Kathleen Marsh, made it her life goal to terrorize her neighbors as she would do all sorts of things, including throwing rocks at them and spraying the water, to the extent of trying to run her car over them. But the most shocking part is that, for a whole year, 
The officers were unable to arrest this woman because she wouldn't come out of her house whenever the police were around, and they couldn't enter her house because she committed no felonies. But this time, the officers wouldn't back down until she was arrested. One of her victims, who was also an eyewitness of Marsh's police encounters, explained what she sees. This is not business as usual. You need to come out. We are not leaving. This time, we're not leaving. And so they told her, if you don't comply, and they were out there for several hours, if you don't comply, because they didn't want to hurt her, we will bring in SWAT. The SWAT unit was finally deployed to the location, but Marsh still wouldn't comply or open her door. However, after hours of back and forth, Marsh was eventually arrested. I showed you all the paperwork you wanted to see. You need to come to the front door. Can you peacefully come outside? Why not? Why, why, what for? Because we have a arrest warrant for your arrest. Walk backwards to the sound of my voice. Her neighbors indeed heaved a sigh of relief after she was booked with multiple charges, including aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, larceny, failure to appear in court and resisting, evading or obstructing an officer. But here's yet another terror neighbors have to deal with. This one's a total maniac. Get out of the car now! Ow! 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 On the 18th of February, 2022, an officer responded to a call about a hit and run situation. On arrival, the officer met with the victims who explained what happened. And apparently, this is just one of the many times these neighbors have had to deal with the suspect. Yes, uh, what's her name, yeah. Okay, yeah, so she, they've been like doing all day. Mm -hmm. um, they called too, I think, mm -hmm. or they were gonna call. Um, what but, happened? Uh, she peeled off out of the driveway, mm -hmm. back into the mailbox, they just fixed it. I, oh. She has squatters, whatever, in there. Okay. And um, so, like a couple times, she, like came peeled she, back, like peeled back, back into our, our driveway after we've asked her to not ever be on our property. We've right. asked her that Almost many cars, so like many times. Yeah. She'll come walking in into our fence, messing with she our has window. No trespassing. She sign. has no regard for anything. So she's just this whole area. She thinks it's hers. Okay. You know? So what? What happened? She hit that mailbox. She yeah. hit that hit mailbox. mailbox. She was parked here, almost hit her car. Mm -hmm. um, luckily, and she's she just laughing it. at us. And, and we're in the driveway. She's, she's like still peeling back and forth. Is it a Kia Soul? Yeah, a brown one. Kia Soul. I don't even know it works. Um, still works. But she's still out right now. Who God knows where. Okay. Probably. But that mailbox is hers, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. They just put it back and she up. She hit but that it was pole like, pretty hard. She knocked no, it, was it completely. Like, like that whole pole is yeah. like, not the whole pole, but the little mailbox pole was down. They just put it back up. Yeah. And we're Apparently trying to get her plane number because I don't think she has any of that on the car or like. Yeah, Apparently, she doesn't have her license either. Now, so. uh, I'm trying to remember what her name is, but it's the Michelle. one that shows up on the yes. roof? Yes. Michelle. So she was driving? Yes. Mm -hmm. She was driving. And she has We're very license. familiar with her face, so uh -huh. yeah, I'm positive that was her. Yeah. Right. So were you guys out here when it happened? Or? Yeah. We heard, well, we were in the backyard here, and then we heard it, and then we came back out. And, and she, she in backed into it twice. And yeah, back into it twice. She backed into it twice. Mm -hmm. What'd she hit this time? Her, her mailbox. mailbox. <laughs> Pull in they just mailbox. put it back up, but it was all down. <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. yeah. And hit that electrical pole you can and see her mailbox. Peel off. marks right there. Was she by herself in the vehicle? No. no. There were like three other people. They've been doing drugs all day. Yeah. She, she seemed to be the one in yeah. control yeah. of the drugs. Yeah, handing them out. Mm -hmm. All right. Did she say anything when she was leaving, like screaming anything out of her? Yeah. It happened quick. She came up, hit that, knocked that off, and then boom over and here, and then took off. And I know, I mean, unless a miracle happened, she's um, has no license, registration, or insurance currently. Mm -hmm. but she's out driving uh, under the influence. Yeah, they were definitely getting high. Mm -hmm. I don't know on what, but... Whatever you need foil for, and when yeah. you hear snorting, I mean, our fence, yeah. as far as where our fence is, like this far away, I, sitting like where she yeah. hangs out to have her coffee and well, I just cigarettes. Watched that guy right. get on his bike he almost fell off. Yeah, yeah. Okay. and it's weird because you watch them and they're normal and then all of a sudden like they'll it start just like, all of a sudden they can it's barely... It's the most bizarre yeah. thing ever. Mm -hmm. it's, it gives me the chills. Mm -hmm. yeah, anyway, I won't keep her time. Glad yeah. you guys are safe. Once that's gone, this will be the most quiet yeah, thing I, I know. Know. As the neighbors were still speaking to the officers, the female was seen driving past them, prompting the officer to engage in a pursuit. Well, 
of the mortar, that, that's yeah, yeah, freaking that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, there she is, right there. There she is, waving. Driving without a license. However, the officer was ordered to stand down due to safety reasons. The officer would then go back to the neighbors to obtain even more information. All right, real quick, you all guys saw who the driver was? Yeah. Yes. So what's her name? Michelle. Okay, yeah, excellent. She just changed it to a key, apparently. Oh, okay. okay. Well, I chased her all the way to MLK 301 and it got canceled by my bosses. So like, yeah, she fled. As soon as I got behind her at uh, Myrtle and yeah, Myrtle and O'Brainton, she took and off. Dangerous driving and heavy traffic, kids are coming out of school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, my supervisor's yeah, like, sense. I cancel, it's just a hit and run, you know, type of deal. So okay. yeah. does it still have the markings, like all the drawings on the side? She and stuff? just painted it purple. purple. Yeah, the, between the window and the bumper, that mm -hmm. part on the hatchback is Think like a purple, like a little bit better for the door. Right. Right. And yeah. then there's also a dent. Yeah, yeah. but something bumper. noticeable, something so that sticks out, because I didn't see... Yeah, yeah, like purple, big section, it's I mean, like, I'm talking like... Like in the front or back? Like this big, right on the back, on the hatchback. So yeah. this is the that's mailbox that she hit? That's post in the mailbox. So she, she just hit this, and this fell off? Yeah, I guess so. That, 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 yeah, that she down. kind of hit it, so definitely hit this pole and then this. Okay, but like, this... Did somebody come and? Yeah, yeah he, he came. He came and, came and like the guy that put the post the back in. Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay. At this point, the officer heard tires screeching around the area, assuming it was the suspect speeding through the neighborhood. The officer would then proceed to his car, anticipating a chase should it be the suspect. Guys, yeah, watch out. Was that a dog or screeching tires? Screeching tire. Yeah. Probably Stand by. Here we go. Yep. I'm okay. sorry. Yep. Unfortunately, the suspect made another turn before reaching the location. I didn't try to decide, should I stop? Should I or stop or should I not? Yeah. Um, but I see them show up from time to time for 10 minutes at a time here and there, like they're picking something up. And the last few nights, people are pulling in and coming out all days. Someone's running something out. Oh, yeah, absolutely. This house here. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate it. Yeah. Ladies, you too as well. Okay, sir. The officers also reached out to her other neighbors to get more information about the suspect. I make the attempt to try and contact somebody here. Hi. Hi, you live here? Uh, I do, temporarily. Okay. I'm uh, supposed to be moving out or whatever. But, okay. Um, you hear about Michelle running into the pole? Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing in a fucking... I need her to not come back around here. All right. She doesn't live here anymore? No, she got all of her stuff. Her mom came and got it. Her son came and got her cats. Like, oh, wow. Yeah, and right now it's basically the people who are here, we're all trying to get out because they just got sold. Okay. And we're in the process of it, and every time she comes around, it just backslides everybody okay. because we have to make sure she's not lighting the roof on fire. Right. She's not being crazy. So she has nothing here that yeah, says that she lives here. here. Okay. So, if by chance she comes back. Today, tonight, whatever. Call 911 quietly. Said, hey, Michelle Leary's here. She has a warrant. All right. Awesome. Okay, I appreciate it. All right, Shauna, thank you very much. After a while, the female suspect was located in the driveway again, and the officer promptly initiated an arrest. However, things didn't go as planned as this female put out some really crazy acts to elude the officers once more. Open the door! Get out of the car! Now! Get out of the car! Get out of the car! She's still unresponsive inside the vehicle. Get out of the car! Now! Because I'm telling you, get out of the car! Now! Come out. Out of the car now! Come out of your car. Forty-one, she's 41. trying to she's back trying her car out, out and trying to pass me. Larry's right next to her. Alright, 
She's fleeing. She's going eastbound on 41st Street. My vehicle was also signal four. 91's pull, turning around at 44th and Old Brighton. Uh, back to the scene. Again, the officer was ordered to back down. This is one hell of a crazy woman. However, after about seven hours on the same day, the female was located again in the same vehicle on the same driveway, and the party finally ended for her. Get out of the car! 64 by dispatch, 41097 on my call at 41st Street. We're going to be 1012. She's in the car now. Please can get out. Just give us a 10 for right now. Get out of the car! Get out of the car, Michelle! Hey, get back in your house, please, ma'am. I'm on the phone with 911. Get back. Okay, I know you called. I know. We'll be with you in a second. We're worried about your safety right now. You got an aspirin? Where's the where's the latch to open it? There's no latch over here. She's she's tying her thing right now. Okay. I'm trying to convince her to come out of the car without using force right now. De-escalation tactics. Okay. Your top's on, I just need you to finish tying that knot and then I need you to open the door. No problem. She doesn't. I've got plan B. Okay. She's on the front. All right, perfect. Now unlock the door. Less lethal, Michelle. I need you to open the door. Unlock it. Unlock, unlock the, the door, door now. now. It's not. It's tied. I need you to open the door. I'll tell you when you're outside the vehicle. Open the door and we will break the window. Okay. Open the door and we will break the window. Your choice. Tampa, we've got a I don't want to be aggressive. I'm just asking you to step out. You're not running. stepping out. We just have an uncooperative subject. No, don't light the cigarette. Just step out of the vehicle. Signal 14 confirmed it is Michelle Hey, she's got a bunch of bullets. Yeah, right there. There's active one. Hey. Temple, we were advised by Officer Blanco, there's PC for arrest. Open the door! Open the door! Do it now! Open the door, Michelle. Last chance. Hurry up, please don't break the window. I already know you can step out. Yes. 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 Okay. Let the recruit do it. Step out. Yeah. Step out of the car. Step, Step out, out of the, of the car. car. Dispatch, just an update. We got the door open. Taking them in custody. What's that? Get out of the car now! Get out. Ow! Oh, shit! Ow! Get out! Ow! Another Get off of me! Ow! Ow! Stop fighting. Stop resisting. Get off me! No, stop resisting. Ow! You f are the crook. Not me. Ow, that f hurts. Oh, well. Ow, you Ow, I'm not me. Stop jerking around. Ow, that f hurts. Hold the f up. I'm trying to fix it. Ow. We'll fix it when you're on that. Calm down. Back the f off. You can let them know we're 10 15 with the white female. Ow, that f hurts. After all the back and forth, the suspect was eventually apprehended and charged with various crimes, including resisting an officer without violence, fleeing a felony, and a hit and run crash. But this female should probably take some lessons from this next suspect. She takes things to a whole new level with some insane behaviors. My property is being intruded on and I'm getting ordered to go inside? Get the f*** off of me!
On the 9th of July, 2023, the police department received a call about a woman and her neighbor who were causing a disturbance in the neighborhood over their property line. The officers arrived at the scene and met with the two parties. And from the slight initial encounters, it's almost very clear who must have started the fight. Yep, can you put her inside too for a moment? Yeah, it's the police, can you go inside? Go inside, I'll be with you in a minute. Me? Yeah, you. I live here. Cool, can you go inside for me? My home is being intruded upon. Okay, I'll be with you in a moment. I just want to separate you guys so there's no further disturbance. From who? You, you're screaming me as I'm walking wife. up. Me and who? You are screaming as I walked up here. My home is being intruded upon and you're telling me to go inside. I'm asking you May to go I inside. May I request a different officer, please? Sure, you can talk to Officer Valpone here if you don't okay. like the way I'm treating you. I think I was here last time. You were. Yeah. Absolutely. Were. What's going on? So you built this metal thing, right? No, the, 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 the whole the fence. thing. The entire okay. Thing. She complained because the the, the the fence supposed to be on her property. Okay. It's supposed I'm to be on her property. Supposed to be. She say like that, but. I don't know. That's why I made my own. She says it's fan. like too far over on her side. Their dogs pee and shit. All they do is just pour water on it, and it always yeah. goes on the far side. Sure. So my dad put like something here to block it. Like a like this gutter thing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So are you guys? This is my wife. Your wife. Okay. I think, yeah. So I'm trying to figure out what's going on. That's all. So a lot of this started off with these people being very rude to my wife. Okay. I told them, to, "Hey, get your property off of my property." Oh, so you put the concrete thing here to block it. Yeah. And then she broke it. Broke it on water. Yeah, and she broke it today. They built a fence back up onto my property and destroyed it. So I was contacting the city. Okay. to get it taken care of okay. um, and then this curb is on my property she's rolled her ankle multiple times so we're, I you know it's on my property we're taking it off my property yeah and don't, don't please do not look at the line because they drew the line right with so me. Like, the so, line is based on the property here's the thing property line disputes not a police yeah. matter. I know. We're so not, I that's do not this. That's also here. not a police well, matter. If you just, well, here's the thing: is if you destroy it and it turns out it's their property, then well, until right, then, it's not your matter okay, either. Then you shaking your head and having an attitude towards me. I'm trying to figure out what's going on, and you go like this and uh, 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 talking to me in that way. Right, I think Frank, you're, you're an adult. Ahead. I am a very you. respectful person. Well, then speak in a respectful tone. I am. No, you weren't earlier, and I'm trying to say that. I'm trying to keep this civil, because right? Because the second I got out, I was told to go back inside. Okay, and yes, for someone different. And now I'm talking to you, and you're throwing attitude my way when I'm speaking with your husband. And he's explained this. You chime in with some snotty remark as we're trying to figure out what's going on, correct? I'm not trying to be snotty. Well, you're acting that way, and you're speaking in a snotty well, manner. Well, if you've lived here long enough to have to put it, put up with this, I'm not trying to be snotty. But I'm do, not. Do, do you think when we're trying to figure out what's going on, no. that making snart comments and speaking Speaking in a manner like that helps I, I'm the not trying to. Also, at the she's same really time, upset when you because they told her came, to go back to when China. When you came up and right, I mean, told so me to go back inside, because, because of this because type of stuff, right? When we rolled up, Which, we all the way I mean, I mean, she's not trying to be rude to you guys, but so the heating up of like telling her to go back to China—that's a really messed up thing to say. Someone someone ends up being arrested. So your decision is based on my behavior. Oh my god! No, I'm not trying to go that way. saying she's screaming racist remarks in our neighborhood. No, so but that was so I understand. That was after they told they say go. Back. Okay, right. right. But two wrongs do not make a right. No, right? Not, but we're saying that's why this officer asked you to go inside to calm the situation and we'd be in to speak with you. But you chose not to, right? Forgive me for that. My property's been intruded on for as long as it has. The fact is, like I said, I have to live with this every day and I am frankly sick of it. And for them to tell me to go back to China, I'm not even from China. But like I said, this is the line they drew. This is a curb they laid, and this, you know, as you can problems, clearly right? see, crossing yeah, yeah, the structure yeah, of the home yeah, of mine. The other parties calmly explained their side of the story, but this female wouldn't cooperate with the officers. Even her husband tried to calm her down several times, but it was all to no avail. This would continue for another couple of minutes, and it doesn't look like it's going to end well. Yeah, I get that, but then why are we destroying this today? Because, like I said, if you come over here, this line was not laid by the HOA. Okay, who was it laid by? Them. That ain't gonna be here. Okay, but then you can be, that is, if it is their property that they built and you destroy it, right? The oh hold on a second, the property line thing is it, we don't know. So now you're destroying someone else's property. Nope, it's yeah, on my property. You're being unreasonable at I this point? I am not. Yes, I are. am not. Can I finish talking? Yes, sir. Okay. They poured concrete there because you guys were 
no. urinating and defecating in your yard. Nope. That, that is not the case. Okay. They that put is it, not anyways, the case. They put that there, correct? That's what you told me. They put that cement barrier there, correct? What they did, yes. Did. So then that is the cement part is not your property, correct? Correct. You so someone has the right to something. put it on my property. Is it your property though? Do you know for sure? Do you have yes, a legal, I do. Do you have I a legal document? More than do you have a legal document that says that it's your property? My deed will more than definitely tell you this is the line. Here's the thing. Don't You've taken a day. You emailed a day ago, right? These things take time. Just because you decide you're whatever goes on and you're going to destroy this, that's not how adults behave, is it? Neither does a husband, right? Okay, hold on, hold on. We're talking about an inch or two. Inch or two. No, it's like more than six. If I go onto your property being your next door neighbor and I go do the exact same well, thing. I'm polite how well with my neighbors. I so am until I'm not. That doesn't make sense to me. Well... What law did I break? So, well, that's, that's malicious, malicious mischief. mischief. Malicious. How about they maliciously built something on Which my Which you have no legal documents property. to. That's what you're missing. What is there a legal document to build anything okay. on my property? Legally, so, physically, as you can see, attached to my property. There's two ways to resolve this issue today. Ma'am, ma'am, hey. look at me. There's two ways to resolve this issue today. You calm down, or we may have to take you to jail. Why, what did I do? You committed you, the crime of malicious crime mischief. Malicious, mischief. There's and two you ways. Will that, you will love that. Won't you say that again in front of them? They know this because they, you destroyed their property. How about they maliciously laid it onto my is, property? How long has that been there? How long has that Does thing? it matter? Yes, because I have you... been asking and asking and asking, and they refuse to remove it. And how long have you taken any type of, like I said, official action with the I don't know, husband. How long, what have you done to actually... How much have you had to drink today? Too... Too much? No. Too much. You've had too much to drink today. You're baby. Why is it always me and my drinking? Well, let's see. You're the one destroying stuff. I didn't destroy it. I am them. removing something that is on my property and it does never, it does not always eat white to me, my drinking. I'm going to tell you how it's going to go right now. You are going to go inside. You are not going to cause a disturbance the rest of the night. I'm what disturbance have I caused? Um, screaming racist remarks. Oh, and they haven't? I'm not saying they haven't. I'm saying that- Why am I going inside and they're sitting out here? Because they're not the ones screaming at the police in the parking lot. Oh, because they- just didn't do it while I'm not, here? They have not done it since I'm here, correct. Two neighbors came outside and said that you were screaming racist, Hispanic, and Mexican-related remarks. I did not, remarks. and I told them to come here and look, and then they went okay. back inside. We're not gonna get into specifics. No, and that's Here's what I'm gonna saying. Here's what's gonna happen. You're you going to go inside, or you're going to fail. You're different what you think it is. So yep. unless if you have it on video, because I didn't say what you think, you go inside or said. you're going to jail. This is your last chance. Do you understand? Please, go inside, please, okay? I didn't do I anything. I know you Then go inside. Okay? Uh, my uh, property yeah. is inside. being intruded please. on and I'm getting ordered to go inside? After a couple of unproductive attempts to get the female to order, the officers decided to do what was necessary. You guys, can I be taken to jail for yelling at them saying, you, you guys, move your f***ing fence. Move your f***ing fence. Go how, inside your house. How about you guys do something about this? How, why am I getting ordered to go inside? My property is being intruded on. No, you're not. You never have. You never have. You never have. You never have. Yep. You, if I go to jail, it's your fault. It's your fault. She steps out and takes a look. Move your f***ing face! She needs to go inside. Nancy, then you need to go inside. Why? This is my Because I can property. hear you screaming. You're causing it's a disturbance. It's my property. No. It's my property. Why are you removing me from my property? I'm not removing you. I'm putting you deeper inside your property. No! No! Let's go inside. Nancy. No, I'm not smoking my inside. Dog, I, I'm, don't. I, I'm not going to let them out. I'm standing right here. Sure. They're really nice. I know. Hi, hey, puppies. <laughs> Sorry. I'm making sure it doesn't get physical because if oh, it does, it's, I not, do? it's not. It's not. What did I do? I know. I really don't want to make this a thing. It's not. I'm trying to. Let me step outside okay. so it's not. Oh, what did I have so to do? She's she going to go inside. She's going inside. She's causing a public disturbance. I'm going to arrest that boy. Nancy, if you don't go inside, then you're. It's your. Okay, it's my fault. Please go inside. Please go inside. Let me go!
sister. Just no, let me in. No, Eva, Eva, Get me Eva. in. I'm going. Come here, you're under arrest. <laughs> Why? No, 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 I'm going inside. Put your Because I'm going inside. Stop, move, sir. You're under arrest. For yes. what? Because I'm already going guard, inside. Guard, guard. I'm guard. not. Call oh, my f***ing lawyer. Congratulations, my kids are crying. Yeah, that's your fault. How is that my fault? You ain't Nancy's doing smaller. shit about what they you're will. supposed to do. Nancy's they will. What am I doing? What am I doing? Do not kick me. I didn't do not kick, kick me. You stepped on me. You stepped on me. You stepped on me. You stepped on me. Yes, go ahead, toss me. Go ahead, toss me on the ground. Go ahead, toss me. Let go. Toss me on the ground. Yeah, rip my Fence while you're at it. No, you did that. I clearly see your hand. You dead. I hope you're happy. Doing nothing. Doing fing nothing. Okay, well, she needs to behave a little better. I'm behaving you. I'm a fing adult. Act like one. You fing act like one. I'm here. You ain't doing shit about people encroaching on my property. That's not you my concern. You arrest me. No, of course it's not. Nothing is your concern until it is. That absolutely How, is 100%. What the f do you guys do? How what do you do? How I was going inside and you still f***ing arrest me? You did not go inside. You began wrestling with your sister. Does she complain about it? It doesn't matter. That's Can illegal. You? Oh, is it? It is. There now you, you two f***ing seriously think about it. My uh, property is being intruded on your arrest. Do you have anything sharp that's going to stick or poke me? No, I don't. Okay. You yes. are welcome. Search. I am going to search you. Can you stop moving? Spread your feet. How much further would you like? That's perfect right there. Can you hold that for me? Thank you. Go ahead and get inside the apartment there. The female was arrested and put in the police vehicle. But if you think that was the end, you're totally wrong. This female gave the officer a really hard time transporting her to police custody. She's indeed totally insane. I want to let you know that you're under arrest for malicious mischief in the third degree, and I'm still going to investigate whether we're going to arrest you for disorderly conduct, okay? Yep, my home is, like I said, being intruded on. Okay. And this is what you get. Is this your quota? Uh, no. We to don't have arrest quota. somebody just because? Nancy, I'm going to be honest, I would have preferred to just leave and resolve the problem. I wish you would have, and I was going inside. I was trying to have a smoke. I was seriously just trying to have a smoke, and you came in into my little corner of where I was going to smoke, and you was, arrested me. That is 100% correct. Yeah, so I was going to do what you wanted. Do me a favor and just stop talking. So and not talk? Yeah, of course. That's yep. what all you guys ever want. Fucking so stop talking. Fucking so stop talking. That's all you guys ever want. Let me know when you're ready. Ready for what? To read your rights to you. You have the right to remain silent. Let me I didn't. Safe. I wasn't aware that I had any rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything uh, safe, but I have rights as a what? How my f***ing right property is being intruded on and I get arrested? With you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before questioning if you wish. Can you, can, you can decide you? at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any <coughs> questions or make any statements. Do you understand those rights? Nope, I do not. Which part did you not understand or would you like I to do not the whole why, thing? I do not know why I'm arrested for protecting my home. I thought this was a stand your ground state. Before we talk any further, I need to understand that you understand your rights. I do not. Okay. I do not. And I would I would like to ask you to please ask my husband to call in to work for me. Okay. To I can do that. Can you let me read your rights again so you understand them? I don't understand it because I don't feel like I violated anything other than maybe well, destroying the fucking garb that wasn't supposed to be there. And that's exactly what you're under arrest for. Well, you know what? That's great. You guys want to arrest people whose homes being intruded on? Kudos. Okay. It's really important that I make sure you understand I your rights. Don't. I don't. I don't understand. I have lost brain cells. I don't. I tried. I really did. I really wanted to go inside. What's done is done. Let's focus on the future. No, 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 no. I, I know that. I'm, I'm not talking. Can, why? Because I don't need to hear anything you have to say. As they got to the police station, this female would then go on to put up some crazy acts as she began sobbing and punching herself. <laughs> 
can't. I can't. Oh yeah, you can put me in cuffs. You can probably put me in a hospital, but I can't. I can't. You need to put her in cuffs, Hawkinson. Yeah. Yeah. Just put your hands behind your back. We're gonna yeah. put you in cuffs so you don't hurt yourself. <laughs> you would, huh? Put me in cuffs again. Um, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, I'm resisting again too. You're not resisting. I am not. I never was. This female's behavior doesn't seem normal, and the officers deem it necessary to transfer her to a new facility. But the journey wasn't an easy one as she unleashed a new level of madness, yelling and banging her head on the glass of the vehicle, prompting the officer to pull over two times before their destination. Let's see if you have any injuries. Do you have any pain anywhere? Yeah, you're giving me a pain in my ass. Get it off my eyes, will you please? No. Why? Bang me! Let's go! 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 let us go 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 let us go
Apparently, the female who just left was the caller, and the male was the alleged suspect, according to the caller. But from what this male would go on to explain, he doesn't very much like the suspect here. Oh, this is what I did, sir. Because okay. I got a witness. We both went up yeah. there. We knocked on the door because they yeah. arguing, throwing, shit, breaking. Shit. Yeah. If you go upstairs into the apartment, you will see that they is trash from them to yeah. breaking shit and stuff. So my fault. I mean, I ain't. No, you're fine. So I knocked on the door. When I banged on the door, the door opens. Mm -hmm. She's sitting there cussing us out. I never stepped foot in the house. Yeah. Or none of that. Okay. I stood out on the on the on the little uh, steps thing. Where's your witness? Can you have her come out and I can talk to her? Maybe we can resolve. Oh, okay. Maybe we can resolve this for you. Oh, okay. You still want the other three cars coming? I don't care. I'm going to arrest her, I think. Alright. And then you can, uh, you can talk to the, the, um, the person that owns the building and stuff. Alright. And you can ask them. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm sure we're here. This is the... Right, look, you got like two seconds to admit it's cold, I was shouting. <laughs> what happened? So listen, they, they, all they, they're arguing. Scary. Yeah. Whoever the crackhead is, like, yeah. constantly yeah. banging, going If you go up there right now, you see everything. all the evidence is literally in the kitchen. So what happened when you guys went up there? All we did is went up there, we knocked on, we did is kept talking, kept asking yeah. them, you know, quiet the hell, yeah. you know, we got keys down here, it's funny that I'm showing Right. The door was unlocked, we opened the door, she wanted to keep continuing to sleep, kept saying, shut the f*** up, I will right. shoot you, I will stab you, that's literally all she kept saying. Yeah. All right, we'll finish your shower, man. So, <laughs> yeah, go back inside. You're good. It's, it's a constant thing yeah. with her ass. She needs to go. Like, she don't, listen, she don't even pay rent. What are you guys doing? Hijacking scooters? The suspect and the witness's story indeed matched, and it in fact indicates that the female caller didn't supply accurate information to the officers. However, as good conduct requires, the officers would give the female a chance to explain herself. But this female has other plans, and this got really ugly for her. Come here. Yes. Turn, put your hands behind your back. Come here. Get off me. I'm not going to jail, bro. I didn't do a fucking thing wrong. I didn't do a goddamn thing wrong. Why are you taking me to jail? I'll sit on my back. I'll talk to you. I'm not going down. Don't. Don't. I have heart problems. Turn about. around. Turn around. My heart problems. Don't you do it. We're in the upstairs apartment. Don't ask. She's not cooperating. I am. Turn around. No, I'm not. I'm talking. Get off of me. Stop fighting them. Stop fighting them. You're stupid ass nuts. How'd you tell us what? I got one arm. I got one arm. Get the other arm. Get the other arm. You're fucking excited. Get off of me. Get off of me. Don't Put your hands behind your back now! Put your hands behind your back! Put your hands behind your back! Do it right now! Put your hand behind your back, Stop her. Stop! Get the f up! Stop! Dumbass bitch! Hey, yeah. Stop! Get up! Do it again, you dumb Do it again, dumb Bitch. I'm going to tell you, bitch. Sorry, fuck your ass. The goddamn bitch. The goddamn bitch. The goddamn bitch. Fuck your dumb ass. I hate the f***ing dude. Let me go. No. Spark, go home. Spark, go home. Go home. God damn it. Go home. F*** off me. F***ing idiot. Stupid. That's all you bad bitch. What's up? She uh, was causing issues. Thought her she's under arrest for She filed a false police report said these people were up can they didn't break in. We go up there, talk to her, have her come outside, she shuts the door, her she's under arrest, starts kicking us. Filing a false report offense refers to the act of knowingly providing false information to authorities or making a false accusation. 
It's considered a serious offense which can result in legal consequences such as fines or imprisonment. And this is the reason this female is getting arrested and transported to police custody. But she wasn't done. Everything she's done in the presence of the officers before and after the arrest doesn't seem normal. It's almost like she's on drugs. Or maybe she actually is. I think you're high on math. Have a seat. Take some breaths. The female was eventually charged with assault and resisting arrest. She was found guilty and sentenced to three years on probation. Thanks for sticking around. See you on the next one.